Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to talk about the cutest little powerhouse of a telescope mount you'd ever want to see. This is the Takahashi Space Boy from late 1984. This wonderful little mount is very capable despite its small size. You can see how small it is, how short it is. This thing can hold a lot of telescope and does a lot of wonderful astrophotography. It's designed to be very portable. That's the reason for the short little legs here. It fits into a small box, I'll show you that, and can be carried to a dark sky site very easily. This is a slightly taller mount, this is the FCM. It's a little bit more stable, it's got a little bit more structure down here, and it's also a little bit taller. Both of those factors make this considerably more useful for mounting the Takahashi Space Boy. However, this is a bigger tripod. It's not so easily transported as this cute little thing. This mount has a kind of an unusual counterweight configuration. It can go straight in like this, just more or less kind of a normal configuration. So it would go something like that. But I found that Almost inevitably, I have to use it in this other configuration. That's uh, pretty much usually what I do. Slow motion, right ascension. I've got the clutch unlocked. I'll show you that here in a minute. So it's unlocked. There's declination, slow motion. These wires here, it goes to a hand control, which is a fast and a stop. Okay, this is the adjustment for the altitude. Uh, you can lock it down here, but that's really not what's going to do it. This is the push bolt, pushing on a finger down inside there, of course. So you adjust it like so. It's got a place for a wrench. It's a hex wrench kind of an arrangement. So the place for a wrench, but I found that even when I loaded up a big heavy telescope and lots of counterweight on this, if I just lifted this a little bit, took some pressure off, I could adjust it with just finger tight, and then the weight would bring it back down, of course. Over here is kind of a standard two finger push kind of a adjustment. can tighten it up down there. Nice metal cover. There's your polar scope there. There's the polar illuminator. Very nice. Back here in the back is a fairly unnecessary level. And then you look through there for your polar scope. This is the clutch mechanism. And this is uh, just about as simple as anything could possibly be. It's just a friction clutch here. It's a, an aluminum pressure bolt, pressure nut, pushing on this. It's the clock drive. You can loosen that up if you want to. That's how it works. I've had very few problems with this clock drive. Um, to think I've, I've shot a lot with this with this mount and have had very very few problems with it it does have a tendency if you go too far that could run into something here here's a configuration you might see with a camera writing piggyback on the telescope something like that You have a lot of flexibility with how you aim this camera. You can do all sorts of things with this outfit like this. This is top quality. Absolutely superb. Here's another way you might see this set up. I love these Takahashi combo outfits like this. Here you've got a guide scope. Here's your camera on a nice angle adjuster. 
How's that for fancy looking Takahashi outfit there? To configure this for Altaz operation, first thing we're going to do is remove the And then just for convenience as well, I'm going to remove the motor, just get it out of the way. That's all there is to the motor. Now we have to reverse this. This is unusual. I don't, ever think, I don't think I've ever seen a mount that does that. I'm going to put that like so. This hooks in there so it's pretty nice and stable. Now we have a nice little Altaz mount. The accommodation axis, axis here is removable. to that. After you take the declination axis off you have a couple of very convenient screws here for mounting. If you want to, a couple of ball heads like this. So now you have a two side-by-side -side ball heads. You can do something like this if you want. Or maybe shooting the same subject that Two magnifications. How's that for a mean looking outfit, huh? There are other ways to achieve this same goal. Here is an exploded view of the Takahashi Space Boy, much as it would have appeared in their literature. Takahashi wasn't the only one. As a matter of fact, they weren't the first one. Goto made the Mark X mount about uh, seven or eight years earlier than this. It's also a modular mount. In other words, it comes apart, apart like this. But there's also a Carton CST um, and the Vixen Super Polaris. Both of those came along about the same time as this one in 1985. Not sure quite what the deal was. Not sure if these guys were imitating Goto or uh, it was just a coincidence. Maybe they were imitating Goto. Here's the Takahashi Space Boy, set up next to the Carton CST, otherwise called a Supernova mount. And notice how much bigger the Supernova mount is than the, the a little Takahashi. This thing weighs about 10 pounds, roughly. This one weighs about 5 pounds, so it's about a 2 to, weigh, two to 1 weight ratio. Um, this, is, uh, this can easily hold a 4-inch refractor very nicely. This one... Might be hard pressed to hold a four inch, at least a long focal ratio refractor. Although it holds my very heavy Epsilon 130 just fine. Let's take a look at the packing scheme for the Space Boy. This is not the original case for the Space Boy, but it's nice and compact. It's about the same size. Easy to carry. The Space Boy can be fitted very easily with a nice standard Vixen adapter. Then you can use something like this. This is, of course, modern equipment. This is an ASCAR. This is a 200 millimeter telephoto lens, astro camera, really, um, at f4. Really fast. Very, very nice optic. Combine that with a DSLR, and you can then get some photos like this and this. I'm not a very good astrophotographer, but I found that even from my light polluted backyard with uh, proper filters in here, you can do some nice deep sky astrophotography. I've also done some astrophotography with my Epsilon 130. Check out my video on that. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the diminutive powerhouse Takahashi Space Boy telescope mount. Thank you for watching.